I'm Samantha Loren, your St. Martin Parish reporter. As the sugarcane season wrapped up on Sunday, the Louisiana Sugarcane Cooperative tells me just how much they lost this season due to the summer's record-breaking heat. No one that I have spoken to can recall such an effect to the crop or such, an, such extreme circumstances in the summer. The length of the drought and the severity of the heat was something that, that no one you know, can attest to uh, that's here farming today. Louisiana Sugar Cane Cooperative, located in St. Martinville, processes sugar from nine parishes. Ag Division Manager John Abair says the sugar cane yield from the summer's crop was affected by the drought. So based on our five-year average, we've seen about a 22% decrease in yield this year uh, on average. There are areas that yielded close to normal, uh, so that means that we do have growers that suffered nearly 50% loss. Abair says there are new concerns farmers face for the future of the crop. Certainly it, the financial stability of some of our growers because of such a just tremendous hit, you know, to their income. Sugarcane farmer Mike Malasson of Malasson Farms in Bro Bridge says they produce about 65,000 tons of cane, which is now down 25%. Uh, we didn't anticipate uh, this crop being being so poor, but by midsummer we knew where things were things weren't good, so we had to do something. To, start cutting back. A bear says another concern is the drought affecting next year's crops. Namely our crop that got planted in the summer of 2023. There's a lot of crop that hasn't established itself yet due to the drought and the conditions that were that the crop was planted in. While Malasson says this won't carry into the next season. I think next year's crop still still has a lot of potential. Uh, we, I don't think the uh, the poor crop this year will, ref will carry over to the next, uh, at least I hope not. According to a study from the Louisiana University Agriculture Center, the state experienced nearly $2 billion in damages due to the drought. Reporting in St. Martin Parish, Samantha Loren, KTC, CB3.